Okay, C. Lindelof videos, graphing and solving linear systems in standard form, that is AX plus BY is equal to C form on your TI Inspire Cats. I think this is not a very difficult thing, but I'm getting a lot of people asking for it. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this really quickly. I'll try to keep it less than three minutes. So here we go. All I'm going to do is this. I'm going to go to my home screen. Um, you know, you don't have to do it that way, but I'm going to do it this way, right? And then I'm going to use my down arrow. So you see it there. I want to go over to this piece right here for graphing, obviously. So telling you what you already know. I'm going to go ahead and select that. And then this is the only thing that you have to do a little bit differently. Is you go to menu, and this is, uh, you have to have a 3.1 operating system. So if you don't, you need to upgrade that. But we're at operating system 3.9 now. So uh, 3.6 is the one you actually want. But anyway, so here, I just went to menu, graph, edit, right? And then I'm going to go down and say equation. From equation, I'm going to go over to line. And then I'm not going to hit any buttons yet. You have to be careful because I keep I kept clicking on the damn thing before and I kind of mess it up. So go down to standard form, and then so here's an equation that I have. I have um, I have negative four x minus two y. So I'm just going to type it in. Negative four. Remember, you don't want to put the x in. Minus two y. You have a plus minus there, but in standard form this is plus. So to make it negative, you have to add the negative sign here. Is equal to negative 12 so it's equal to negative 12 so here's my negative 12 gets hit enter so there's my first equation then I'm gonna go to the next one I'm gonna do exactly the same thing I did before actually I'm gonna go to tab first I'm gonna go to tab oh look it took me right back to it so that's actually really cool otherwise you would have gone through menu to equation from equation to line been patient gone down to ax plus by equals c and filled in the blanks right but here, I'm going to put in this other equation, which happens to be 4x. And here I said, I'm doing what I told you not to do. So be careful about that, right? Plus 8y is equal to negative 24. So just negative 24. And it doesn't matter what negative sign you use. Sometimes it doesn't, but not usually. So then I'm going to hit Enter. And hopefully you can see here that these two lines do intersect. If I saw they were converging, but I didn't see, like, if it, if it looked like this. So I'm like, oh, these lines are converging, but I don't have it yet. I would have pressed the control button up here, and I would have dragged this thing up. So that, that effect is just to do this. And then what you do to find the intersection, instead of putting it into um, slope intercept form, is you just go here, and you go to menu, analyze graph. So analyze the graph, find intersection. And this is, it's not tricky, but you have to, really understand what they're asking for. You see at the bottom left of the screen, it says lower bound right there. It says lower bound. It means a place lower, in this case, means a place to the left of the intersection. And it doesn't matter how close or how far you are, but just make sure you're definitely to the left. Hit enter. See upper bound. Upper bound means a place to the right. So just drag that over, and you can see the intersection right there, can't you? And there's your answer. So if you don't want to use the solve function on the calculator and turn and kind of convert everything into Y form, this is another kind of slick way that you can do it. So, um, you know, I, I said I'm going to try to keep it under three minutes, so I'm going to leave it at that. I hope this is really helpful. Um, I know that it's not the end-all, be-all, but you asked me for it, so there it is. Hope it's helpful. Hey, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Uh, and then your comments are always welcome. Thanks, you guys. Peace.